Hi and welcome to question time. So as promised in my last vlog I said I was going to go through a couple of questions that I've been asked in the past so it's just um, a bit of food for thought if you thought about asking these questions. Um, some of them are okay some of them are damn right ridiculous but um, let's start. Okay so the first question is is this your first? Now Generally, this is a question that somebody will ask if they don't know you. So they'll ask you, oh, is this your first, just to try and start a conversation. The first time somebody asked me this, um, I did want to cry. But um, I ended up saying, yes, it was. And I spoke to somebody after that who who's also lost a child. And she said that she tells people that, you know, she's only got one child. Because it saves on the whole explanation of where your other child is or how many other children you've had in the past so um, now if somebody were to ask me is this your first it depends on where the conversation is going if it's a general stranger and I know I will not see that person again I'm most likely to say yes but if it's somebody who I'm getting to know um, I will say no and um, I'll just say you know I had a son but he passed away and just leave it at that um, yeah so <sighs> I wouldn't say don't uh, never ask a person is that there first because I mean it's it's an ice breaking question I mean but I think personally I've I don't usually ask people whether it's their first child because I mean if they say yes or no um, there's still other conversations you can have around other questions regarding the child that, that you see them with um, another question that I've been asked when is my next due now I personally feel that the people asking this are people that do know me and know what I've been through so I think it's a bit of an insensitive question to ask because um, they obviously don't know what I go through on a daily basis. Um, it's very easy to look at somebody who's had um, another child after the loss of a first child and it's very easy to assume that that person's totally over it and yeah I must run up mountains every day and sing and you know at the top of my lungs but no life isn't like that there are a lot of ups and downs still and um, I think when people ask me that question sometimes if they're somebody who I see on a regular basis I'll say well first of all it's not nothing that I'm considering at the moment because um, going through my second pregnancy I was always expecting something to go wrong to the point that where whenever we had extra scans I would mentally prepare myself by telling me that they're not going to find a heartbeat you know and um, yeah I didn't even want to look at the scans because in my mind the baby was, wasn't going to make it because of my previous experience so um, I tend not to to like those type of questions and I feel like anyway even if I wanted to have another child it isn't for somebody to ask me when is my next one due you know so I think that's a bit it's prying it doesn't concern you you don't need to be in my business and if I was to get pregnant again you'll find out in due course you know it's it's a, it's, a, it's not a conversation that I feel I need to have with everybody so yeah don't ask that question it's ridiculous um again another question I've had another question or statement more so is oh the next one will be a girl <sighs> I'm not thinking about the next one like I understand this I'm not thinking about the next one I know that people try and say things like this to break the ice and so forth but with all the crap I've gone through and the drama I've gone through the last thing on my mind is thinking about whether I'm going to have a girl next or whether I'm going to have another child it doesn't concern you don't ask me these questions just don't if you think about asking me mm, get just mm, be quiet don't say a thing I don't need to I don't need to hear those type of questions to be fair um I think um the most ridiculous stupidest question that somebody has asked me was um, along the lines of was your son buried or cremated now a couple of reasons why I think this was a stupid question first of all you obviously weren't invited to the funeral second of all um, I wasn't that close to that person asking me the question and the third point what did the person intend on doing with this information like 
what if I say he's buried or he was cremated where where were we going with this you know and um I just thought it was a very insensitive question I just shut that person down I was like listen I don't want to talk about it and it was even in the time at a time where it wasn't even a, a topic of conversation like just just sometimes people just don't know when to just like not ask stupid questions and at that point in time I was just like wow did you really go there and yes she did really go there um I'm not gonna name no names no no not really I'm not gonna name any names but um it was just a stupid question that I was very um flabbergasted with I was like, wow okay and um another question that some people have been asking me is oh do you mind telling me what happened now the fact of the matter is I don't mind telling people what happened I have obviously told people what happened but uh, the way I see it is for me it's very distressing and for me it really upsets me and I find that whenever I discuss it it kind of um pulls me back so for example if I were to discuss it right now which I could do I know definitely I'll end up crying and I know for the next week let's say four four days at least I'll be in a really dark place and I don't think it's fair on myself and I don't think it's fair on my son um to to do that so I don't want to I don't want to bring myself back to that um hopefully I I wish that I would get to a point in time where I'm able to just explain it and just talk about it freely but as it stands now I'm not able to and that leads on to my previous video where I was saying that for baby loss awareness month there were so many women who were sharing their stories and as I said I am inspired by them because I don't feel I'm at that place and some of these women have lost their children a lot more recent than mine so um yeah it's it's each to their own and I don't feel comfortable explaining it the people that I feel around in my closest circles know what happened like I, I spoke to them and you know it is what it is but I don't feel I need to explain it with everybody I find that most people don't ask ridiculous questions I think a lot of the time it's people trying to um just make conversation or just you know have a bit of bants you know asking me when's my next one which is fine like if somebody had asked me after my first son Aaron had been born when's your next one I would have enjoyed that conversation but after the drama of losing him and then getting pregnant again I just saw milestones of death yes it's either going to be a miscarriage or it's going to be a stillbirth or it's going to be a neonatal you know I'm always worrying even now I'm constantly worrying so if I worry this much about him now I don't know how I would feel um, emotionally being pregnant again and having a child who I'm on the outside who I'm worrying about all the time um, yeah I don't know I'd probably go stir crazy um so yeah those are the questions that have st st stood out to me um i haven't really i can't think of any other questions off the top of my head but if you have any questions please just you know uh send it to me you know subscribe i'm on instagram i'm on twitter and um obviously i'm on youtube so yeah subscribe and feel free to ask me any questions within reason that you feel like asking. All right, thank you for tuning in. Take care, have a great week, bye.